Hello everybody, my name is Farmer Phil and today, well this is just the end of the year video so um, just where I'm standing at the minute with the finishing bulls there on that side and we have when she decides to turn back calves on the other side there that were brought in you would have seen them in the last video there bringing them down the road so just so you know as well my girlfriend is filming there behind the camera so she's very impressed but well, however so I was just going to do a look back at the year 2018 it was a challenging year it was a bad start with the snow and that left things uh, literally no spring at all but the summer was great and it was a great back end so during the year we upgraded our umbilical system I got a mastic system it was a great job a oh, fantastic job a serious serious bit of kit and uh, double bar tanker another savage bit of kit far better than what we were anticipating have had absolutely no trouble with blocking the master. I don't think we ever blocked the master river in it, and we did some very dodgy, dodgy slurry now. But hopefully, with them two outfits now, when the slurry ban is lifted in the new year, I have two videos or a couple of videos of them done. So that will be my plan. And also, we got the fusion this year, which oh, I just can't. It's just compared to wrapping bales, I couldn't go back wrapping bales now. It's just an absolute lifesaver. Just left us with lots of time. Lots of time, like it's just a savage, savage bit of kit, like savage bit of kit. So, on the cattle front then, we reared over 400 calves this year. Um, we was probably the best year we've ever had for calves at the start. We had very little pneumonia, very little trouble all around. We had calves that when they come off milk, and that's a bird scarer going off there. That's going to go through a couple of different cycles. Um, okay, we'll skip this bit on the video. Right, so now the bird scare has gone off, I'll get back to what I was saying. So, it was one of the best years we ever had for rearing calves. We had them in that shed there, and we had them that they were going on the feeder and able to go out the back on grass, and also on the other feeder we had the same setup. And we had literally absolutely no trouble that I can remember with calves having to go back on milk after they come off milk. Um, just the best year we had was great, real great calves. The only hiccup we had with them was towards, it was September, we had some trouble with worms. We were going to pour on all through the summer because it's very handy when we're feeding them meal, we can run along and squirt them on the backs. A very simple job, but um, in September, the pour on didn't seem to work and cattle, everything just started, well, it wasn't everything, but all the smaller calves, the lesser calves started to fail and fail badly. And we did lose a good few now, but we went with a, uh, down the neck a drench, a white drench, and that solved the problem, it literally turned inside out straight away. And after that we've had it's probably one of the best years we ever had for, for calves and cattle. And that's really all I can think of now at the minute. It's been a it's been a challenging year but it, it has been good for us. It has been good and all going well, twenty nineteen will be a good year too. So that is all I can think of now. So I'd like to thank you all for your support throughout the year on the channel and thanks for all the comments and all of that and wish you all the, a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and thanks for watching and all going well, we'll build the channel some more, I have lots of great ideas for next year so that's it for me, good luck! Right. You ready?